A few, a few words before the final lesson. Um, Elizabeth Seaton, your foundress, is a saint. Catherine Drexel, who walked the streets of Maiden, is a saint. And you're on the road. On behalf of the diocese, and in this year, dedicated to consecrated religious, I just want to say thank you. I cannot say in the most beautiful way that you said it. And I also want to thank the people of Macon. I've already shared these insights, while well, I think are insights, with Father MacDonald, that when I was the Bishop of the Diocese, there was something extraordinarily special about the city of Macon and its outreach to the social gospel, which I would not experience maybe in other cities. So the efforts that were made with regard to unwed mothers and now daybreak, St. Vincent the Paul Society, it's all very evident here and very much the involvement of the people. And I just say thank you for that because it is the image of what the church should be all about. And the most striking thing you said, like in my words, was that you brought the gift of the church to the people and they were the gift of the poor. I also cannot leave here without saying something about Little Rock. Father MacDonald said that it was purgatory. <laughs> but on April the 1st, this past April the 1st, was the first anniversary of the death of a priest from our diocese by the name of Andrew J. MacDonald. And Andrew J. MacDonald was pastor of Blessed Sacrament in Savannah when he was appointed the Bishop of Little Rock. And he served there as Bishop for probably over 25 years before he retired. And then in retirement, he went to Chicago to be with the Little Sisters of the Poor for his final day. But I am very confident that you will find in Little Rock many, many friends of Andrew G. MacDonald and many aspects of the church there that came there through the Diocese of Savannah of whom he was a priest. So, you're not going to perpetrate. <laughs> you're going to another gateway to heaven. <laughs> Let us pray. Thank you. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gift of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your heart in his love. Amen. So that on this life's journey you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.